Hey everybody, John here for the Plow Guys. It's been a very long and boring summer, but winter is here. Well, almost here. Snow is just around the corner and me and Justin are very excited. What I thought I'd do, I'd start off this year with things like what kind of truck or what, sorry, I, should, I have to be careful with my wording here because I know <laughs> some of you people will pick up my words. What type of truck you should get for snow removal? All right. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, so pretty much the only pickup trucks to pick from for snow removal uh, that are domestic are of course the Ford, like I have here, Chrysler and General Motors. Now, of course they come in three popular sizes and we're gonna group these into the half ton, the three quarter ton like I have here and the one ton. Now the half ton I think is really great um, for your driveway, uh, friends and family, lightweight plowing. I mean, I would not use this truck for commercial use. These trucks are just not built with the beef. You know, they don't have the suspension, the bearings, the ball joints, uh, tie rods, axle, gearing that make them good plow trucks. But like I said, just for around your home, you know, uh, like your neighbors, your friends and family, they're good trucks. All right, so we've decided that the half ton is good for light duty work. So if you're gonna do commercial work with it, I mean like you're gonna really go out and seriously get on, get customers for uh, residential snow removal, um, maybe some uh, lightweight uh, commercial parking lot uh, work. Three quarter ton and a one ton uh, is good. Well, of course, bigger is always better. You know, if you're gonna go out and spend the money, and you, I mean, you are seriously gonna do some serious snow removal, then go with the one ton. Now, in different places, there's different restrictions. Uh, where I am, I have to watch the weight, so I have to keep my truck down to a three quarter ton to avoid the extra cost of uh, different types of license plates that I have to put on the truck. Um, I also have to worry about the width of my plow. I can't go over seven and a half feet. If I go to eight feet, again, I run into issues with the uh, Department of Transport here in my province. So with all those different things combined, I decided to go with the three quarter ton. Now, the fact that it's a Ford doesn't really make a big difference. I mean, you could go with the, I could have gone with GM, I could have gone with Chrysler. It's not about what make of truck you get, it's about what type you get. And you wanna make sure you get the type of truck that will really do the job and can handle the, the the constant strain of pushing that snow and pulling that snow and carrying that plow. Okay, even though I chose a three quarter ton which can securely handle this plow, which is a seven and a half foot fisher, uh, I did find that I was bottoming out. Now, when I mean bottoming out, I don't mean the bottom of the truck was dragging against the ground. What I mean is that there's little rubber bushings that the, uh, the control arms will actually hit against and this is what's considered bottoming out. So to avoid that, I installed these air uh, lift bags uh, last summer and they really make a big difference. I don't bottom out anymore. Now the problem is, is that I did not order my truck with a plow package, which would have included uh, the one basic thing that you need, which is a stiffer suspension. Uh, it's not an absolute necessity. You can do what I did. And even if you do get the plow package, I would still recommend that you get these airlift air, air lift or uh, uh, there's also uh, ride right and there's another one that's a solid rubber timber wren or timberland uh, somebody mentioned it in the uh, airlift video so you can go check that out and they actually i think left a link in there for you to go and check out but having this added suspension aid is uh, i would say a necessity because you're carrying a lot of weight on the front of your vehicle and these plows don't weigh 100 pounds they weigh like six seven hundred pounds and, and if you get the wings on them if you get the ones that the, the v plow and the, and the like you're just adding weight and adding weight so having this extra suspension uh assist is a definite plus well all right that was a really quick episode now i don't want this episode to be looked upon as me trying to sell you a Ford telling you to go buy a Ford. It has nothing to do with that. I owned General Motors pickup uh, prior to owning this pickup and uh, I also had the diesel version and the uh, transmissions on those were like bulletproof. My issues with GM have nothing to do with their reliability or their ability to do this job. So any one in my opinion of the three major car manufacturers 
that make Ford, GM, and Chrysler. With the three quarter ton to one ton pickup will be your best bet as a snow plow for commercial work. The other ones and the, the half tons, and I, I want to include Toyota and Nissan, the, the Nissan Titan, in with the half tons because they can do lightweight uh, plow work too. I, I've heard some issues with the bearings on the, the Toyota. Um, I went to buy a Nissan instead of buying this and I asked about the snow plow and the guy was like, oh yeah, and then I went to the plow shop, asked them what their opinion was, and they told me if I got a Nissan, I might as well just shoot myself in the head. If you're going to do commercial work, you do not get a half ton. If that's all you have and that's what you want to do, by all means, do it. I'm just giving you my two cents. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. My name's John. This is The Plow Guys. Don't forget to subscribe because we've got some really good episodes. Uh, diesel versus gas. That's like opening Pandora's box right there. And then we got lights, warning lights. I mean, you have to have warning lights on your plow. And there's a lot more episodes that are to come that concern plowing and the things around plowing. Insurance, getting your customers, advertising, and so on and so on. So be sure to click that subscribe button, and I'll see you next week, guys.